That's a big tire. That's a huge tire. Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. So today Grant and I got the opportunity to visit somewhere kind of local but also reminisce on our experience across the ocean. So if you remember Grant and I got the chance to travel to Germany and tour the glass factory over there. Well there's actually one way closer in Omaha, Nebraska. This plant here supplies all of the combines in North America. So this is a little bit different color green than Grant and I are used to. We do still run all of John Deere equipment on our farm, but uh, they're doing some very interesting things. There's a lot of new developments that they're doing, and they actually work in a lot of the technology from other tractor brands. So a lot of our John Deere stuff is actually compatible with this machine here. So uh, who knows? Might be seeing one of these on our farm sometime soon. First time in a combine this year. I know it's obviously they've been um, picking some corn, and the smell of the harvest is like making me a little bit nervous. Like, whew, our time is coming, Grant. All right, so in cab ag leader, I feel like I'm really used to that, so that's kind of nice. Still has that same really ergonomic handle. Lots of controls here, built-in cup holders. Boy, can't complain about that. Nice window, you can see into the green tank. Look at the headrest. Comfy seat, that's like a yeah. full-on automotive chair. Yeah, it is. It kind of feels like being in the semi-truck. Ooh, I like the light diagram. Look at that, so you can see exactly where the lights are in the tractor. You ready to drive it? <sighs> I think so. Combines of corn? Yeah. We got, we're working with an eight row, 30 inch head. Uh, this is one of their smaller combines. There's a bigger one out here. Maybe we'll get to drive the bigger one. We're doing some test plot type stuff oh, yeah. right now. There's a big one over there if you can see it. Maybe we can talk them into letting us drive that one too. We'll see. All of the models. Just turned the threshing on. Look at that little window. That's, that's not a camera. You can see the returns coming back at you right there. So you can see exactly Wow, that is so cool. Okay, ready to turn the head on? Yep, go for it. Okay. Okay. Did it go just give it a second. There you go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep. Load up. And then now you Perfect. can idle up with this button right and there all the way forward. Okay. Good to go. Ooh. So I press this little button here, and it, this is driving the combine for me. So we have little guidance sensors that are keeping us right in between the rows so we're not losing any of the ears by being one way or the other. And then it is also adjusting our combine speed based on the head intake. And we are rolling here. Very comfortable four miles an hour. I love it. First corn harvest of the year, folks. Makes me excited. It looks like Laura's got the first row of shame. She missed a row. That's a big tire. 
That's a huge tire. Here we're going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of tires and tracks. Look at this thing. That's crazy. Pulling a big ripper here. A big grain car. Oh, Laura's running the show. She's giving hand signals. I definitely have some grain in the in the cart back there. There is. There's but a load. I, like the tires have us so widespread out. You know, like it's just such a smooth ride. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> so wait. The boys are down there. <laughs> <laughs> Girls get to run the tractors now. <laughs> You want to come see the inside of the cab? Yeah. Okay, so immediately what I noticed about the cab, one, obviously, it's massive. Um, it is huge. Like, like, Grant, stretch your legs out, Sean. Like, I'm not touching the windshield. Like that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, the chair swivel, like, goes all the way around so I can see behind me without, you know, really straining my back. Um, then also, in cab, how quiet it is. Like oh, when really? I was just, yeah, when I was over in that one, we were going like almost full bore, and uh, me and Ginger were having a conversation at like normal volume. Wow. It was really impressive. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and they, the, the ergonomic handle here, it's so interesting. You just like rest your hand on it. I think it's kind of nice. Oh. Should we try and do some tillage? Yeah, let's, let's drive these tracks. Cool. Look at this dirt here. You know, with that yard project of ours going on, we've had a lot of assorted little tractors running around our yard. Might have to add one of these to the fleet, huh? A loader tractor would be nice. You can do a lot with a skid steer, but there's some things you need a tractor to do. Absolutely. Boy, don't think you could ask for much more in the, for a lawn tractor, huh? Yeah. This might be a little much for most people's yards, but I feel like for our over an acre lawn. This with a 15 foot shredder on the back would be... We could cover some serious ground. Mowing ditches, pivot roads. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, I like this. If you ask some nice, I might give it to you. You think so? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I said even with my best puppy dog guys, I don't think I could convince somebody to give this to me. <laughs> but they let me drive the combine. So you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. 
So speaking of little tractors, I feel like if you got a grain cart on that thing, this is what you would need. Perfect for test plots, or maybe for harvesting like your little patch of sweet corn in the backyard, maybe? I don't know. This is true hobby farming here. It's just a, such a cute little test plot tractor. I like it. I think it's cute. It's kind of me size. It's kind of small. I like it. It is you size. There's a little bit bigger one behind it. This one's got four rows on it. It's crazy to think that you and I see this as like such a small little combine compared to what we're used to. But then I just think about we used to have to harvest corn by hand, like hand pick it off the ear. Imagine somebody from like the early 1900s seeing one of these. They would think this is massive. Now it's small.